Welcome to another episode of Game Boy Roulette, where we take a look at randomly chosen games from the Game Boy Library. Frank Thomas's Big Hurt Baseball. Wait, that sounds painful. I know I've ranted about the glut of football games we've seen on Game Boy Roulette, and you think I'd be sick of baseball too since this is the fifth game we've looked at, but honestly, I'm a lot more cool with baseball games than football. I've said that football games tend to feel very samey with mechanics, but baseball games lend themselves to a lot more variety between pitching, hitting, and fielding, and I think variety is what sells them more for me. Plus, there's an odd kinship between baseball and the Game Boy, given that one of the launch titles for the system was the imaginatively named Baseball. Of course, of course, I was more of an alleyway fan, but still, that means the Game Boy and baseball have about as much history as a system in the genre can possibly have. As far as this one goes, Frank Thomas's Big Hurt Baseball was released in the mid-90s for pretty much everything with a screen. It was part of a branding deal with, as you would expect, Frank Thomas, nicknamed Big Hurt due to how much damage he would inflict on poor pitchers from his insane hits. He ended his career with crazy batting stats and was a first ballot Hall of Famer, just the kind of career to lend itself perfectly to some game licensing. And in fact, Frank did some motion capture for a few of the versions of this game, which is always cool. I do kind I kinda miss the era when a single player could be propped up as the main selling point of a game. Something about it just made the players feel, I don't know, mythical? You know, like Mew. The box art reveals the shocking truth that Frank Thomas was a hologram. I guess this is to let you know that he did the mocap. And to be honest, the contrast between Frank looking like a badass and turning into a wireframe from Reboot makes this an absolutely fantastic cover. So, who's up for some baseball? Let's get hitting with Frank Thomas's Big Hurt Baseball. So much text. Big Hurt! <laughs> I like how it's in all caps. Well, we have music on the ident screens. That's actually kind of rare. Frank Thomas's Big Hurt Baseball. Oh yeah. Let's do this. And there he is. Try to beat that. I'll try, Mr. Thomas. I'll try. Oh! Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Cool. Uh, let's not just start with an exhibition. Where's Seattle? Where's Seattle? There it is. Bullpen? Oh, I can, like, oh, wow. Oh, and there's stats and everything. Oh, very nice. Uh, lineup fielder adjust? Wow. Oh, there's... Look at all of this! Oh, nice! Oh, this is, this is, this is lovely. Now, will it play okay is the big question. Alright, let's do this. Pretty decent looking animation. Uh, oh, I'm the pitcher! Oh, whoops. Uh, sorry! <laughs> let's try that again. Fastball. Fast. You go. go 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 out nice wow there's like half of those letters missing so i am glad they aren't doing like the crazy crowd sounds that a lot of these have but also i don't know i kind of wish they had some sort of music it's a little quiet uh-oh i'm bad at pitching oh man there's a lot of choices uh medium screwball please Nice. Wait, that was a ball? Aw, oh, man. Oh, finally! Oh my god. Can I do it? 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 Yes! <laughs> Alright, I am thoroughly enjoying this already. There's so much variety in how you can throw the pitch. I love it. Side... what does that say? Oh, side retired. Oh, I caught it. Nice. I can move around the box. That's always good. But yeah. Oh, um, okay. So I just learned that A, bunts. <laughs> oh my god. Go, go, go. Second base. Okay, looks like I do not control the running. Well, cool! That was a great hit! Again, I'm really missing just a little bit of music. Like, I know that's kind of realistic to baseball, but still. Video game, you know? Oh, see? Like this! This is great! 
blast. Oh, that is straight down the line. Yeah, I'm not going to run. I'm sure there's some button combinations that'll let me steal a base or something. In fact, let's see if I can find it. See, why can't we have this music during gameplay? Probably not my best hit. <laughs> it looked like he just ran up and punched the first baseman. Tremendous. Man, I don't know. I'm having trouble coming up with any major complaints about this game. Seems pretty well made. Oh, I missed it. Oh, this game sucks. How do I... Okay, here's one minor complaint. It looks like a lot of the running... Go, 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 go! Oh, cutting a run down. Hang on. Gotcha! Oh, I made him vaporize. But I was going to say, it looks like a lot of the fielding is done automatically. And I kind of wish it was... I know we had a little more control over it. It is time I admit to you all, I don't know what a knuckleball is. And at this point, I'm too afraid to ask. Another nice thing is that the game's moving forward at a pretty, pretty solid clip. Sometimes the sports games can be a little, little slow. But this one, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the pace it's going at. And now we could do some more batting. Let's see if we can get a home run. Perfect. Just as planned. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the hit that your your mother warned you about. Whap! Uh-oh. She warned you it was going to be really, really bad. If I had to play a baseball game for Game Boy, I, this one seems pretty good. It looks nice, controls well. Again, I'm missing music, but it's not... That's a personal preference, not a huge deal. Ow, my arm. Frank Thomas, you are a game designer. Please run faster. Please run faster. Please run faster. Oh, man, I wish I could just, I can't believe I'm saying this, but you know what this game needs? Button mashing mechanics. See, football? You could stand to take a few lessons from Big Hurt. This game perfectly encapsulated the reason why I'm more into baseball games than football games. And even putting personal bias aside, this was one of those games that checked off every box on how to make a fun, enjoyable sports game. The gameplay was surprisingly simple, but in a good way. It's always important for a Game Boy game to have that pick-up-and-play quality, and I could immediately start pitching, hitting, and fielding without feeling totally lost. And the game had good presentation too, although as I said, I wish there was a little more background noise. But that's a personal gripe, and I could absolutely see someone enjoying the lack of music, especially because it mimics real baseball in that regard. But there are two things that push this game over the top, and they're the two things I always love to see in Game Boy games, depth and variety. There are numerous ways to pitch the ball, you can modify your hitting strategy for maximum effectiveness, you can customize how the fielders are standing, you can change the order your team bats in, there's a dizzying amount of modifications to be made, which puts this game on a whole other level compared to a lot of sports games. And if the main menu is anything to go by, there's even more variety, with home run derbies, seasons, and even an all-star mode. And even even if it's mostly just modifications of the same general gameplay, I'm still amazed at how much content they crammed onto the cartridge, making it the kind of game you go back to over and over again. I have not played many baseball games over the years, but of the ones I have played, Frank Thomas's Big Hurt Baseball definitely stands right near the top as not only being fun, but completely packed with content. So if you're looking to get your handheld baseball fix, this game is definitely the way to go. And thus concludes my essay on why baseball is better than football. Well, on the Game Boy, anyway. And that's all for another episode of Game Boy Roulette. Make sure to like the video, comment, and subscribe to follow the series as we continue to dig through the Game Boy Vault. I'm Brian J, and I'll see you next time.